Hey guys, it's Misty Lovely and I'm coming at you with my week 60 post-op update. I'm going to try to make this short and sweet because I have to run out to the gym and I have an appointment and then I have a whole bunch of other stuff to do. Um, I said I'm going to try. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I, before I get into this, I wanted to say thank you guys for your loving comments on my last um, video. You guys just don't know how much it meant to me, um, your feedback, just to know that it helps somebody. You know, it's always about reaching one. And that's why I feel like it's so important for us to put everything out here about our journeys, even those emotional times, because those are what's going to help us grow in self. Because if you're not on a journey of spiritual, physical, mental growth, peeling back the layers doesn't matter at the end of the day because you haven't tweaked and, you know, you haven't tweaked everything else. That's so important. And, you know, it's funny because I actually talked about this a couple videos back and somebody actually accused me of not doing that. That's so not true. Um, it is so important to acknowledge. So, you know, I had to put it out there, you know, in hopes that it will be of a help. And I'm glad that it was for a lot of you. So thank you. And I will be answering you guys individually um, when time permits. So forgive me. Um, so getting right in here into numbers, last week I was 268.5 and this week I'm 265.5 for a 3 pound loss for week 60 and from my highest weight of 378.8 to now 268.5 that is a 113.3 pound loss in 60 weeks with the realized band. Um, I want to talk about the band for a minute here. Um, I wanted to talk about what it means to be a successful bandster. And you know, Melanie Sky Moon, she hit on this a little bit, but I want to go on into it with a little bit of depth with my own definition. And what it takes to be successful with, with the band on this journey. Being a successful bandster is all work. It's hard work. Even the doctor tells you, or even uh, the seminar you attend, they let you know off the bat, this is probably the hardest way you're going to go it. It's the closest thing to dieting that you're going to do. And let me explain that because a lot of people take that the wrong way and they go, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. It's the, what they mean by that is, it is the most strict you're going to have to be in order to achieve your ultimate goal. It is not going to do it for you. This band is not. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Last week I worked out eight times. Okay? Eight times. And you guys know that I'm currently doing Supreme 90 Day. And I'm also doing the Couch to 5K. And I also do the elliptical. Um, like today. Uh, um, and I've done this and I showed you guys a video about it. Um, my first workout uh, most, most times consists of the Couch to 5K as my warm up. Then I do 40 minutes on the elliptical. Then I come home and I do um, Supreme 90 Day, whatever it is. Because I've dedicated myself to that 12 weeks. And I said I like to say, the band is, is not a tool that's easy. It's about 10% of the help. And even then, they haven't, I don't want to offend anybody, but they haven't went in and changed anything with us with us bansters and it is a mental game it's a, it's a it's a mental push and pull and you know a person who is successful as a band is a, with the band is the person who has decided to do right now understand I'll give you the perfect example I didn't get a fill for 10 weeks and I lost 35 pounds why because I had made the conscious decision and choice as to what went in my mouth because this is a ton of it it's a 50-50 game in regards to workout and exercise coupled together. What goes in my mouth ultimately will define how my week turned out. Now, granted, I can burn off whatever I eat, but how is my body going to feel later? Perfect example, yesterday I had a cookie out of all my day. My whole day was really protein based, but yesterday I had a cookie and that cookie Jack my workout, my second workout up because I felt so sluggish. My, my tank, my gas tank, metaphorically, was running on crap as opposed to the supreme, the premium. And whose fault is that? It's mine. That is the difference in, in, in the journey. You understand what I'm saying? So we can't get upset when we don't see the scale. Now the scale is not going to move sometimes too. That's another thing. This can be tricky. 
because that's all a part of it. Sometimes your body's going to fight what you're doing. It's going to become immune to what you're doing. Sometimes you're just going to stay the same because your body needs to level out from losing so much. Weight loss truly is, it's numbers, but it's all mental. And the person who is successful with the band is a person who's figured that out. Is a person who knows that when they fall, they have to get back up and keep it trucking along. A person that knows you can eat around that band. Yes, it can be done. A person that knows that restriction is not what you should be looking for. But instead, control of oneself is what leads to true success. I'm a product of that because I'm a person that, like I told you, like I told you guys, had no feel for 10 weeks and lost 35 pounds like it was nothing. What changed? My body got used to things, started to level out, started to get used to what I was doing. What also changed? I allowed things back into my diet sometimes. What also changed? I would eat at night sometimes. Does that assist me? I mean, I'm talking about late, like carbs and stuff. Carbs turn onto water, you guys know I always say that. So in a nutshell, this band and even other tools, because the longer you're out with any weight loss surgery, the easier it can be to lose your structure and to gain weight because that's when old habits can start creeping back up. We, we convince ourselves of a thing when we have surgery, before we have surgery rather. That don't ever happen and it would happen with this video, whatever. Um, hopefully everybody's okay. So anyway, what am I saying essentially? The band is not the reason you are going to be successful. Your feel level is not the reason why you're going to be successful. You are. The bandster, I'm speaking for bandsters, nobody else. Because it's not easy. It is not easy with the band. I lost three pounds this week because I kicked my butt over time, over time. Now, I love my tool. I love Faith because Faith gives me hope and she reminds me. Now, keep on now, Miss Lady. You know what I'm saying? She's my reminder. That is it. She is not my, you know, my uh, end all to this journey. I am my source. God is my leader, but I'm my source. Okay, a couple NSVs. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Cause I gotta go. I gotta go. Um. So eight workouts, and in the eight workouts this week, um, for the first time on the elliptical. No, no, no. Actually, this has happened a couple times. Lord, take the back. Um, I did a, I did over four miles in under an hour, and I did a mile in under thirteen minutes. No, under fourteen minutes. Ah! And I got a lot more wiggle room on the seatbelt. It can double over me now, and um, this uh, towel my husband bought me. It can now wrap around me twice. You know, it's those changes. And you know, what's so important, you guys, at the root of this is for us to figure out that this journey is not just about weight loss. I feel sorry for the person who loses all the weight and hasn't dealt with this. Hasn't understood that it has to be about the mental, spiritual, physical, even what we speak. Because our words become our actions. So we have to be careful. Very careful. Words are powerful. Oh, Misty Lovely always says that. Hmm, and I'm learning even more. So. so anyway, I love you guys. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. It's been a hectic month for me. And uh, I'm about to go hit this. So anyway, I um, hope that I was of a help. Um, that was just my own definition. So I love you guys. And I will talk to you on later. I'll see you with the sweat in a little bit. Bye.